the opening day of Flower and Garden here at Epcot. We are here to try all the booths, see all the new topiaries they have. They have over 70, 70. but they have several new ones. So starting with this one right here, Disney Wish. So say hello to Asha and Valentino when you come in. Let's go and see what we can do in the Ooh, park. First off, let's grab a map, but also give us a like and a thumbs up. So first thing, we got to head on over and get our passport because that's going to show and tell you everything there is to offer. Monorail. But here, close up view here. As close as I can get. How cool is that? All right, let's get grab a book. So here, your passport to the festival, Flower and Garden Festival. Bam. This will actually tell you everything you need to yep. know. And the Ooh. Garden Glaze item. So if you get five of them on the sixth one, you get to head on over to the Pineapple Promenade and get your festival treat. And the festival goes from today, February 28th, up until May 27th. Yep. And there's a concert series. Andrea will flip the book open to the QR code. You could zoom in on this code yeah. and so you'll it, be able to see all the concerts. So it's the Garden Rocks concert and they have plenty of awesome concerts this time around. All right, let's go. Okay, here's a great topiary. It's Figment, look at him. And it's a photo op. All right, here's some of the new offerings for the festival. Flower and Garden 2024. Spirit jersey, ears. Oh, and a lounge fly as well. Very dapper, but it also shows in the booklet. Yeah. All the merch. But if you want to know what it looks like on a mannequin. There it is. <laughs> there you go. Oh, okay. They have a lot of stuff here. That's not a bad looking hat. It is not a bad hat. Oh. <laughs> Little cups. Oh no, this isn't a cup. This is an orange juicer. Cool. You can make your own orange juice. $25. All right. Yep, we just showed the shirt. Okay, these are cool. It's very, very heavy. But that's that's a really cool sign that you can hang out. Like it, like it. Ah, salt pepper shakers. We got some nice t-shirts here too. Very cool. Getting a closer look at this one. That's pretty cool. Very fancy. And what is the back? Wow. Oh, That's it's got cool. The Andrea? I, I do like the spirit jersey. All right. She may be considering this one. You can't look get more colorful than flower and garden. Right? Oh, straight ahead. There they are. Yeah, Canada, United States. Uh, Encanto Topiary is coming up. Yeah, Flower and Garden Festival is just, I mean, the sights are nonstop. Such colors. Beautiful. Oh, here we go. These are cool. Oh. How cool. Oh, and we didn't tell you, but it is Wednesday, the 28th of February, and it's in the 80s. Yeah, so, it warmed up, and it's quite lovely out. Yeah, gorgeous day out. Crowd looks like a pretty good turnout for the opening day. Oh, we're missing our first one. Oh, we've tried this before. All right, so 
We've shown this one before. We got the spicy hot dog. It was too Very spicy. Very spicy. So we will probably skip on this, pass one. on this yeah. one. But Pineapple. this is where you will come to turn in your five stamps. Oh, uh, we have Pooh and friends here. Tigger, Piglet. Rabbit. And Pooh. We have an Alice sighting. Oh. How cool. But we're here for food. We're here for food. Oh, they do have a special funnel cake for Flower and Garden. Ice cream, strawberries, strawberry glaze, strawberry crunch. That looks very good. All right, first sale here. Definitely got to do the mufalata. Uh, banana foster bread pudding. Okay, here's our food. Now, sadly, on the mufalata, they were out of the olive spread. Or they're making it, so it would have been like 10 more minutes, so I took it without. But the beer, this is a, like a fruit punch beer. It's a sour, so I've tried this. It is sour. But it's good. But the sandwich looks decent size. And this is a spicy chicken gumbo. Uh, it has andouille sausage, chicken, and all the little good okra and all these bits. I'm gonna dive right into this, I think. That's good. And unless it builds, it's not terribly spicy. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> I did have a piece of the okra, and that is kind of spicy, so. Spices and the okra. Maybe well, having most of that. But it's good. I just, I don't like my spicy scale is basically at a zero for anything. <laughs> so I'll take back what I said. It does build pretty quickly. It is spicy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a spicy little gumbo. But the sour actually isn't bad. I, I think I actually kind of like it. A lot of layers of meat and cheese here. This should be good. I'm gonna miss that olive spread. I do miss the olive spread. Definitely add something. Is it dry without it? Mm, no. Let's right, we'll see what you think. It's very good, it just. We're missing something. It's still good, but the olive spread just gives it more flavor and excitement of and the saltiness. sandwich. Yeah. All kinds of good stuff. All right, well, overall good items. We'll dig into the banana foster a uh, little bit. Bread pudding with a little foster of bananas. Looks like caramel, like a lot of caramel. Yeah. Very caramely. And it's still warm. I, I think I like this too. Yeah? Yeah, so. And what I really like is big chunks of banana too. One, two, yeah. three, four, at least four slices of banana. Yeah. I'm gonna wait a little bit till I'm done with the salty, but it looks really good. It may be gone. Oh, all right, I better hurry. Oh my, I just dug into the banana foster bread pudding. This is amazing. It's hot, it's sugary, it's got great flavor caramel banana this is awesome don't miss this item i think that's my favorite item that we got here at the market Pavilion. yeah best thing so far okay this is not new but always i think my favorite topiaries snow white and the seven dwarves there's one over there and here it's the rest of the crew one, two, three, four, five, six over here. One of my favorites. Okay, we're at Florida Fresh. We're gonna try the lobster tail and the cucumber watermelon drink. And it's inside citrus blossom. Lobster tail, and then we have a watermelon uh, slushy With gin. With gin. And you can get it without gin, but Andy likes Christmas, so gin it is. Give it a try. It's definitely Christmassy. Christmassy? 
with watermelon. Mm. All right, so watermelon and then the little pine flavor of gin goes really well together. Andrew's trying the lobster. It's a good sized little lobster. Very good. And it also, it's got lime butter. So it gives oh, it yeah, a lime little butter. citrusy flavor. Oh, that's right. So we'll just dip it like right in the little butter there. It's, it's pretty good. Lady and the Tramp, look at that. Who knew you would find them in Italy? I don't see any spaghetti and meatball though. <laughs> no, that would be cool. Oh, and I gotta tell you, it's a hot one. So, but it's a fun day. Yeah, we've already walked around once, so we're on our second lap. Still looking for topiaries that we haven't found, so we're coming for you, Coco. We can, <laughs> we can get out. All right, and well, maybe we'll take a little breather in Italy here. So we're a little winded, so we got a spot in the shade here. And there's AC coming out of the door, so. Yeah, as Andy said earlier, it's toasty. So mm. take breaks if you need to. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. But we have a little lemon citron and an orange. orange. Grand Black. Mornay. Mm. Mm. Very refreshing. It's like Delightful. a lemonade slushy. But yeah, we're getting a little AC out of this door here. So that's the way. Okay, we're gonna try the Honey Bistro, and we've had chicken waffles before, it was just so-so. But Honey Glazed Cauliflower, that sounds good. Nathan's bringing the cauliflower! There was a long wait, and now everybody's happy. See ya! And you are KPJP Florida. KPJP. Okay. KP and JP. check them out. Yep, check out the channel. Alright, <laughs> See ya, everybody. have a good day! This may well be our healthiest dish. Look at that. Cauliflower. Glazed roasted cauliflower. Is it like a sweet potato puree or? I don't know. Oh. It's gonna be a big bite, but it's got everything on there. I really like the sweet potato puree. I actually like this. There, got a little bit of everything, I think. Sweet and savory. I think I like it too. And it does have to be the healthiest dish. This seems like a grape. See what it is. It's a grape. <laughs> mm. The cauliflower is a little crunchy than what I normally like, but it's got good flavors. It's got a little bit of everything in here. Well, let's try a purple cauliflower. Make sure Whoa. you get in the puree. And then I guess that's the uh, honey glaze. It's like peanut brittle. Mm. Right here? Yeah, and the uh, cauliflower is well cooked. So, perfectly cooked. Ah. It's like a peanut brittle. Definitely peanut butter flavor. All right, well, that's a good one. Oh, there's Buzz Lightyear from last year. That's the same. But here's the prize one everybody wants to see. A teenage Groot holding a cassette player. And they photo said sheet. every 10, 20 minutes, so the little reels on a cassette tape actually move and it plays music. Oh. So they ju it just happened a couple of minutes ago. So I don't know if we're gonna be around for the next 10, 20 minutes to actually get it. But. We'll see if we can wait or not. We did wait around for several minutes, although the tape did move, but we did not ever hear a song. All right, and over here in Mexico, we have two, or we have another new topiary. We got McGill and we got Dante. So if you visit the Citrus Bloom, you'll run right into them. Mm, Very nice. I like the guitar, that's cool. So we have now showed you all the new topiaries here. So let us know what you think of them. And now we have a little Elsa and Anna from Frozen. Don't they look nice all topiaried out? Yeah, look at their dresses. 
one color and she's got a two color dress. Very fancy. Let it oh. go, guys. Let it go. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Oh, well, look at this. Our first time seeing the bridge up. Let us know if you've ever seen it up. Yeah, they're getting the uh, fireworks prepared. Yeah, they were bringing out all these fireworks floats here. Wait, we have never seen the bridge up. Up, it's going down. Yeah, we started walking, and I'm like, when did this wall appear here? <laughs> That's what I thought. I was like, what attraction is this over here? But it's closing. And who doesn't like Kermit and Miss Piggy? Look at them. Lovely, lovely. There she is. That's cute. Right, we gotta show a goofy topiary. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that one. And look at this field of color. Ooh. He's blowing little dandelions. Look at the color. Is that what that is? Isn't that? Yeah, dandelions. He's blowing them, blowing them out. No. He's making a wish. Yeah. This is just too much. Wow. And I was pointing out that they don't just set the flowers and their planters on the ground. They literally plant them all. They're all planted. Pretty impressive. And we're finishing off the day with a little refresher. We needed some water, need some nice salty popcorn, and a Coke. A Coke. And we're sitting in this nice, lovely area, relaxing music playing. Yeah, it's one of the and new people areas watching. here. But I think we're done. We are exhausted. The heat probably got the best of us today, mm -hmm. but we did get to try some foods. We got to see all the new topiaries. We, the only thing we didn't get to see is the uh, Groot plays music, but we waited, oh. we waited, didn't hear it. We saw the wheels spinning on the cassette, yeah. so there's that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing the uh, new topiaries that we showed you, and then all the new booths, some of the food that we tried. And some so, of the new merch. Yeah, oh yeah, the merch looks pretty cool. She's still thick on that spirit jersey. Yep. She might, next time. Yep. But give us a thumbs up, leave any comment, and if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit that bell. And we will see you on our next adventure. Yep, see you next time.